Kelly and Kevin are doing the rumba. We yeah. can see that Kev can do it. How's Kelly's? Yeah, I love this song. They're dancing to Songbird. Eva and yeah, yeah, and um, yeah, well, he's given her a, quite a difficult rumba. Mm. All the work that he's given her, lots of spirals. I've slowed this down now. You see a lovely spiral and then a and then a lovely settle into the hip there. There's a lot of, uh, here comes a ronde nice that she ronde. has to do. Lovely And feet. then another spiral, a turn into another spiral. So, so there's a lot of swivel in there. It's, it's quite complicated stuff, but if she gets it, it could pay off. It but, could be you know, beautiful. Yes. Come on, Kelly. Yes. Okay, Georgia and Giovanni were originally going to do an Argentine tango, but that's all changed. It's so exciting. They're now mm. going to do a cha-cha-cha. How does it look, Ian? Well, I'd like to see her straighten her legs a little bit more. Yeah. She's, she's attempting to do it, but every time she gets onto the foot, she doesn't actually quite finish off that straightening. And as you can see here on this, like the checks also, um, if you look there... Uh, Giovanni is straight there, and and she needs to straighten her leg. There. I get confused by the straightening. So every time you step on so it, like a touch, touch, touch. Here we go. Every time you put your weight on a step, you should straighten the knee Straight like that. Cha cha okay. on it. Does that cha, make cha, sense? Since it. I've been trying yeah. it, it's so hard. There's okay. lock the knee, but I think if she gets your heel down, you can straighten the knee easier. Anton de Beck almost sounded impressed with you doing that. <laughs> I only say almost. Um, Anita and Gleb's second dance is the salsa. Uh, it's the party dance. These two yes. do drama uh, very, very well. This is quite a fun little number. How's it going to be? It is, but uh, for me, every time she does the salsa pieces, I think she needs to loosen up those hips because that's what will create the actual rhythm. Okay. So it's, it's in those areas where, where she really needs to... Um, uh, I mean, Go there are it. places where she doesn't, but it's in those areas where she really needs to loosen up, hips going. especially when she's doing the salsa piece. OK, still early days in the training room there. Yeah. I'm sure she'll get that. Kate and Anton are doing a Charleston on a Saturday night. Yes. Are they excited about it? Oh, they look pretty excited yeah. about it. These Barely two... contain myself. <laughs> Always a classy affair. How much fun will this be? Well, um, you know, it's a great number. Yeah. Uh, by the Too darn hot. Kiss Too me, Kate. darn yeah. hot. And, and I, think, I think it'll be fun. She's got the swivels already there's all the elements of a charleston and i hope that they're going to give it that that fun sort of vibrant energy and a little bit quirky which will make it fantastic it will be utterly brilliant i am sure jay and aliona are also doing a charleston this yeah. weekend yeah. we haven't got any footage of them training so just started doing it today mm. um aliona said it's going to be sort of quite cool and unlike any charlestons we've seen what do you think yeah, about that? that worries me slightly because the charleston has that character of being sort of fun and light and energetic with lots of facial expressions so if it's going to be cool without the expressions I don't know. It's going to have to be good. I think it could be. It could be rather marvellous. Um, what are you most looking forward to seeing this weekend out of all those dancers? Um, the two Viennese waltzes. OK. Beautiful. He loves, he loves the Viennese. Yep. Uh, Ian Waite, everybody, back next week. Oh, I think you should just come in tomorrow. Uh, now, she's already 